Welcome to Sweet Little Home. I'm Evie, and for today, I am super excited to share with you guys my living room makeover. Oh my gosh, you guys don't know how long I have been waiting for this to make over my living room. I have been collecting so many items for the space for the past couple of months now, and my house looks like a hoarder house. Uh, my husband also hates me because I have so many unopened packages. Just it's just laying here all over the place um anyways i'm super excited to do this makeover so without further ado let me go ahead and share with you guys how i will be transforming my living room okay i am so embarrassed to show you guys my living room oh my gosh this is so embarrassing but i wanted to show you guys the realness of my living space it is just not the prettiest, not cohesive, and just not me at all. And it has been driving me crazy for the past couple of months that we've been living like this. So yeah, I am just so ready to make over this space, to make it into me, me, me. <laughs> but um, anyways, my living room here is really long and narrow. And to the left side, you see a door that is the front door for this house. However, we don't use that door. We use this back door here instead to enter and go out. So that's why the half of this living space is used for storage. Um, this area is the main living space that will be getting the makeover. So excited. Let's go ahead and get cleaning and decorating. In my heart where you live so whenever i make over a room i love to start with a clean slate so i always remove everything from that room in order to see the room for itself and not how i had it positioned already also this gives me fresh ideas and it can help me create or rearrange my furniture pieces if i need to um, so I definitely recommend that if you plan to make over your space and you need some help definitely start with a clean slate So another thing that I love to do when I am making over a space is that I create a mood board for that space. This helps me visualize what's gonna go in the space as well as help remind me if I go out shopping what I need to buy and not buy and so on. So I highly recommend a mood board if you are making over a space and you don't know what you want to do yet. So these are my inspiration photos that I am using to create my living space with. I love the look of modern farmhouse with a little mix of boho in it. And I wanted to create a space that is light, airy, and cozy while still incorporating my giant black sofa into the design mix. So these photos help me see my vision as well as reassure me that the color choices I want to use work well with one another. So the first thing I am going to work on is painting my wall. I definitely recommend doing that first if you plan to paint any part of your space. Painting always takes forever so I definitely recommend doing that first and getting that out of the way. So you guys can probably tell already by my inspiration photos that I want to add shiplap into my living space. However, I will make it into a feature wall instead of the entire space just because this is a rental i don't want to paint the entire space but yet i want to create a feature wall to brighten up the space and to break up all the grays so i'll be creating a faux shiplap look that is budget friendly and renter friendly so i chose the wrong time of the year to paint my wall because it is cold 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 it's about 40 to 50 degrees out it is still the middle of winter but i knew that if i don't do it now i'll never be able to do it so all it takes is just some warm clothes and you can go back to painting i just realized now that i am editing and doing these voiceovers that I forgot to clean my wall prior to painting. Yeah, I'm such a dummy. 
Anywho, this is how excited I was to the point that I forgot to clean my wall. Um, but anyways, I went ahead and started priming my wall before I even taped my wall too. Yeah, I, I did a lot of stuff the wrong way guys. So please don't look at this video as an advice. Just focus on the transformation at the end. So I used one of my old primer can that I had for a while now. It had less than half left in the can and I was hoping that it was going to be enough to cover the entire wall. However, it wasn't so this is where I stopped for the day. But of course, I was too excited and eager to stop so I decided to hang up my curtain rods and finish that for the night. Day two of my living room makeover and I went and bought some more supplies to finish up my wall. I needed more primer as well as masking tape and then I needed some anchors for my curtain rods so they are secure and doesn't fall off. And that is something that I learned from this makeover is that I end up going to the store so, so, so many times because I forgot something or I needed something or I ran out of something. So definitely be prepared to go to the stores numerous of times. While I waited for my primer to dry, I went ahead and opened my window curtains that I purchased from Ikea. I love these. They are so affordable. They were $12.99 for a set of two, and I love that they were super sheer, light, and bright. Um, so definitely recommend it if you're looking for cheap and affordable curtains that looks beautiful. Anyways, I went ahead and washed and dried my curtains so they can be ready to be hung. So this is how my wall turned out with one coat of primer. I feel like this was enough coverage so I didn't add any more coats to this wall. And now I'll be using this white paint to paint my wall in order to create the faux shiplap look. I do not recommend this paint at all. It is um, super glossy and very shiny and wet looking, which isn't recommended for living walls anyways, but I went ahead and used it just because I already had it on hand and I wanted to get rid of it. And plus I knew that I would have to repaint this wall up when I move out since this is just a rental. So I decided to go ahead and use it and get rid of it but I don't recommend using this paint. So definitely look into other white paint if you do want to create your own faux shiplap wall. So after I finished painting my wall and had to wait for it to dry, I went ahead and did a DIY project. I love the look of wood frames, however, they are so expensive. So I decided to use these black wooden frames from Dollar Tree and repaint them to look like wood frames instead. So this is a great way to save on cost and make a cheap item look more expensive. I personally save about $30 to $60 by doing this. Day three of my living room makeover, I let my paint dry overnight 
and decided to see if I need to add any more paint coverage to my first coat and looks like I don't need to. This one covered it pretty well and I didn't have any spots so I'm so glad I didn't have to go back to the store and grab any more items and supplies. So now I will be transforming this wall into a faux shiplap feature wall. So I removed all the taping from the wall and now I am ready to mark up the wall where the faux shiplap boards would go. So in order to create the faux shiplap look, I am using a ruler and a pencil and I am marking every six inch where the faux boards would go, but instead I will be using a permanent marker to create the lines. I used a leveler to help make my line straight going across. But even then, I didn't realize that my wall and floors were uneven, so I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but some of my lines towards the bottom were very uneven. However, they were straight when I drew them with my leveler. If you plan to do this faux DIY shiplap wall yourself, I highly recommend you starting from the top and working your way down in case you have uneven walls and floors like I do. That way, if there are any unevenness towards the bottom, no one's going to see it because you'll have your decors and TV console and stuff blocking it, whereas the top is more exposed and you can make that straighter and nicer so that it doesn't look so funny. When creating my lines, I decided to lightly and gently press the marker up against the wall in order to make it look more distressed and uneven instead of one dark, stark line going across. But of course, this is personal preference. You can choose to do it however you like. This is just how I end up doing it for my wall. So there were a few spots where I made some mistakes and a quick fix to that is to use a magic eraser and gently rub off the markings. Then you want to use a wet paper towel and wipe off the excess. And after that, go back in with your permanent marker and redraw in the line or you can leave it the way it is so that it looks more distressed. So this is how my wall turned out after two hours of tedious work, but it is so worth it in the end. From afar, you can't tell that it is faux shiplap, but of course, up close, you can definitely tell. But that's okay because I only spent $10 as opposed to a couple hundred dollars to create this beautiful feature wall. Day four of my living room makeover, which is also the last day. This is where I bring my living room back to life. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see the transformation. Back when we were young, I would think you're too good. I never tasted anything before. So sweet. All the days we spent together when we fell in love. What took for granted now? to me like waves never knew the value of those days i miss the way that you say my name you're too good i'd never heard of anything before so sweet all the days we spent together when we fell in love what took for granted now i stand here cause i miss your love Yeah.
butterflies are floating like your red hair in the breeze. Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac dreams. Lay beside me, whisper softly your sweet empathy. Crisp reflections on the water of you close to me. What did you guys think? <laughs> I don't even know if I should ask you guys. I'm so scared, but I'm going to anyways. Please let me know down in the comments down below how I did. I really do want to know. Tell me if I did a good job, a bad job, everything in between. I think I can handle the bad stuff if I didn't do such a good job. Criticism is good. It helps build character. It helps you see your mistake and it helps you to do better and be better as you grow. <laughs> um, but I am just so, so over the moon. So happy about this makeover. I was honestly really scared that it wasn't going to come out the way I envisioned, but I'm so in love as I am sitting here and just staring at it. I can't help but to stare at it and just be in awe of all the hard work I put into this face and how it's paid off so, so well. But I'm just so happy. Like, I'm just so happy because I've never really done anything like this before. So this is the first time I ever tackled on a space all by myself and made it look really nice or I think it looks really nice I don't know you guys let me know if it does look nice or not anyways thank you guys for joining me have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video